really got it dialed in here at the Hard Times Ranch. On this episode of The Maverick, I am joined for a trophy mule deer hunt with my back home Pennsylvania hunting buddy Kyle Miller and his wife Allison. Over a decade, I have taken you on the hunt. We have traveled to the ends of the earth and faced beasts beyond imagination. We have taken some epic adventures. Unbelievable, yes! Awesome. Now that I have a family of my own, I realize how important my legacy, our legacy, will be to leave behind. The spirit to do more, be more, give more against all odds or popular demand, that's the spirit of a Maverick. So join me every week as we learn a Maverick story. Help fulfill their dream hunt. And make this world a little better for all. Join me like so many friends have. And together, let's create a legacy for generations to come. Kyle has just arrived at the ranch and we are wasting no time heading over to the pick -a wire Lodge to pick up our licenses. Here we are at the pick -a wire Lodge. What I love about this place is it's right down the street from the Hart Tice Ranch. It is the go-to place here in Stonewall to be able to collect anything and everything you need, including licenses. So if you need a snack or if you need a good friend, we got them behind the counter. We have a lot of fun here. We're actually here early morning getting licenses before light because we have a mission. And we got some guys that are really wanting to get this thing done and these guys are helping us. Sure appreciate them. I almost didn't see him with his camo on. <laughs> I know. Well, here I am too. Kyle, Kyle Miller here, Pennsylvania boy. Yep. Actually two Pennsylvania boys. We got Bill Landis here also who is uh, Pennsylvania boy and, and I'll tell you we get together and seems to be blood on the ground every time so I don't know what it is if we're just born and bred to hunt and uh, harvest but we're gonna get her done again this week. Thank you. Kyle Miller from Harrisburg Pennsylvania here in Colorado hunting at the Hartize Ranch we are hunting mule deer and elk with the bow. Grew up in central Pennsylvania, grew up in a hunting family. Um, I took my first deer on the first day that my father took me hunting. Um, and we were archery hunting and we were sitting in a little ground blind and a little button buck came running up to me and I missed it at like 12 yards and it ran out to 20 some yards and stopped and looked back, drew back and hit it and to this, to as long as I live, I will never forget my dad's reaction was, oh my goodness, you hit it. And it ran about 40 yards and fell over and I've been hooked ever since and I've been chasing animals all over the place. Kyle and his wife Allison have been married for just over six years and enjoy hunting together. So my name is Allison Miller. I belong to Kyle Miller, awesome hunter. Um, we're here at the Hartiz Ranch. Um, this is a great place for the wife to go. It's been so fun for me and um, easy, lots of games, so it's really exciting. It's a really good hunt for the wife or girlfriend, so I'm really glad I came. I knew that I was gonna keep her around our first big trip together where we went to Alaska on a doll sheep hunt and she didn't start complaining until about day 20 so it was pretty good. But Alice and I always look forward to getting away on these hunting trips the past couple years um, to be able to do this and we're just fortunate enough to be able to hang out together and, and, and have this a long time. 
He's a killer, no doubt, um, first and foremost. And he never does things the way everybody else does. And if it is easy, then he probably doesn't want to do it. So I would say those would be the things that make him a maverick. Kyle has his bow dialed in and is ready for the stock. We will take in a quick lay of the land before we head back to the lodge for dinner. We are up and out by dawn and ready for a full day tracking down some of the greatest mule deer and elk on the ranch. One thing's for sure, Kyle Miller the killer knows exactly what he's looking for. Wow, what a great morning. It's the first morning of the hunt. This is the official morning break. We took a little time yesterday and searched for the big Muy Grande, but what did you find this morning, buddy? We found Muy Grande. <laughs> we found him. He's just yonder. You can see him over our shoulder. And we're gonna wait until he gets himself in a little better position, which might be later today or tomorrow. And we're gonna whack and stack them. We are hunting elk and mule deer, so we're gonna have one of our guys keep an eye on this deer until he gets in a place where we can bring him home with us. And then we're gonna start looking for elk. Have we seen any elk this morning? No, none. <laughs> He's blind and deaf, I guess. So let's escort you back to the buggy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All the way from Arms Corps Factory in Stevensville, Montana. I am more than meets the eye. I am protection. In the times of economic instability, I am currency. But on my best days, my job is to put meat on the table. Ammo and so much more, now more than ever. The scenery at the Hartice Ranch is breathtaking at any time of the day, and the Millers sure make it a point to soak it all in. I am taking them to the Maverick trailer to check it out as well as drop off their gear. We're heading out into the killing fields. We're at the new campsite here <clears throat> off the Jeep Trail. We've got the Twin Peaks in front of us. Same great Crisco Mountain Range right here. It's one of the most beautiful views on the ranch. We're gonna dip right down the bottom here. We have a cabin blind. Don't judge. It's kind of a fun setup. And uh, secluded, scent proof. We've got a great water hole. And they'll grant that here quite often. So wish us luck, please. Kyle is more than ready, but now we have to watch him win. It is always one of the toughest parts of the hunt. One of my favorite answers Kyle has given me was when I asked him about his favorite hunt of all time, and he said it'll be the next one. We can all relate to that, can't we? You just can't wait to get back out there. Wow, what a great morning it was. I was able to just look into Kyle's eyes this morning right at first light and see the passion of the elk hunter right there. I think Freddie is as real as they come. That is what I appreciate. Um, I mean, there's, what you see is what you get. I can assure you that. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know Freddie extremely well, but I feel like I've known him for four or five years. We are, uh... Kyle's spotting deer right here as we get to the buggy. Lots of elk on camera, but that was from a couple days ago. I think they've moved up the canyon. So we're gonna keep uh, in hot pursuit. 
We are focused on closing in, but we haven't seen exactly what we're looking for yet. These are a few of the bulls that we just filmed across the road. They're going where we like them, right in our bedroom. Hi, Freddie Hartice here. I choose ambush hunting blinds because there is a difference. The tinted windows and dark interior keep you concealed, and they are perfectly sized to accommodate any hunting weapon. With a strong aluminum frame and insulation, you will get many years of comfortable use. You can even heat and cool your ambush hunting blind, and you can hear the difference. Ambush blinds are quiet, giving you every advantage for a successful hunt. Contact the closest ambush dealer near you and experience the difference. Here we are pre-dawn of day four, and we are getting ready and heading back out. We have seen a lot of deer and elk, but Kyle has his mindset on a particular target. Kyle is a professional bow hunter and a consistent shooter up to 85 yards. We just need this guy to get a little bit closer. Almost anything, Big R's got it. BigRonline.com. Excalibur Crossbow, the most accurate hunting crossbow. ExcaliburCrossbow.com. The Bow Hunter's number one selling fallaway rest. Ripcord Arrow Rest.com. SKB Cases, stronger, lighter, purpose built. SKBCases.com. The Maverick is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. Earlier today, Kyle drew his bow and was ready to shoot a bull when the big bull got spooked and took off running. We'll have to head back out this afternoon and track him down again. We're 
we're seeing a lot of great animals this morning. It's cooled down. It's probably in the 30s. We called a big, well, not a big bull, a decent bull, probably 1,000 yards coming running right into us to 60 yards. And uh, our fearless leader, Kyle, uh, proceeded to pass on him. But uh, looking for a big deer, and we found a 200-inch deer up here. We're just glassing him now. Um, seeing lots of big deer. We've seen five really, really big deer and just have not connected on them yet. But the good thing is they're here. I mean, he went from a thousand yards to 200 yards in three minutes. You just got to catch him at the right time, which we did. It's just people out for a Saturday night drive wanting to see the wildlife, which I don't blame them. I want to see it too. There he is. He's out further than that. And like you'll see, like in a, in a big herd, like a big herd bull, he'll just walk around and chuckle the whole time. He's saying, you know, stay with me, stay with me. And that's why he was doing that, trying to get these gals to come to him. Pretty darn fun hunt. Not a bad way to spend your Saturday evening. Chasing bulls. The Ripcord Max is a limb driven rest with full containment, micro adjustability for consistent accuracy time after time. Simply the best fall away rest, ripcord arrow rest. Rising above the great Stonewall Valley, surrounded by the most stunning natural beauty, is where you will find the inspiration of our family calling. The Stonewall Antler Company creates the most unique jewelry and housewares hand created from the sheds homegrown on the ranch. And not to brag, but Riker thinks he makes the best dog chews around. We will custom design our creations to your color palette and taste. Check us out at StonewallAntlerCompany.com Since our time with Kyle is running out, we have decided to focus on getting a mule deer. That was full draw on your bull again. I mean, it was swirling and he's standing right there and we're gone and he didn't see any cows. He knew something was up. Ryan, Texas, and he found a really big deer, so we're riding down to his house to check it out. Really good mass. He's definitely in a low 90 buck. We have been tracking this giant mule deer and it's time to close the distance once and for all.
awesome, awesome. You did it, you did it. We've been hunting a week. We had two bucks that were mega bucks. How about it? Yeah. And we just couldn't get them where we could kill them. And here we are, final morning of the hunt as you have to go to the airport and we got it done. Congrats. <laughs> How do you feel? Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Spectacular buck. Great deer. Compliments of the Hartice Ranch team and Ryan Costa. Great work. Awesome deer. Great representation for Colorado. And you know what, what you can come to expect when you're hunting big deer with us. Gotta leave here today and we got it done. I mean, I really honestly could not be happier with this deer. Beautiful buck. Great deer. I knew he was a maverick at heart. I knew he was one of those guys that was gonna do whatever it take to get it done, and he did. He went there and then some. That's what Mavericks do. You aren't gonna believe this. You ready? 199 and 3 eighths. On the next episode of The Maverick, I go for the biggest, most elusive bull I have ever seen on the Hartice Ranch. Many world-class hunters have stalked him, but who will be the one that finally lays the kingpin down? Find out next time. To learn more, check out freddyhartice.com. Soaring above the breathtaking Stonewall Valley reveals a hidden treasure. Close to comfort, Yet on the edge of where the wild things roam. Here, you'll find the Hartice Ranch. Nestled between the Spanish Peaks and the Sangre de Cristo mountain range in southern Colorado. An experience unparalleled awaits you. From professional archery instruction and firearms training. Enjoy epic simulated battles that are virtually boundless or explore the majestic, dense forests for the remnants of the enormous creatures that call it home. Our beautiful lodge is just minutes from Monument Lake, where you can cast your line into the pristine, placid waters, as they reflect all the reasons you need to be here in this moment in time. Come join us for an unforgettable encounter. The world-class wildlife observation excursions that are as intimate as they are inspiring. For an extraordinary escape to relax and reconnect with nature, to reawaken your senses. For Western hospitality graciously served in the most extraordinary setting. Come experience God's country.